Well, we are here today at Bedford Street Antiques in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. It has been about a week since we were here last, maybe two weeks. Um, but I didn't have a whole lot of time today. I have to pick up the kids in about an hour or two. And I decided that I would just swing around the corner from our shop and stop in here and see what new treasures they have. So let's head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, so I figured we could start here. In this booth. This is really pretty. I love this. The colors on that are so vibrant. Let's see what else we've got in here. See if there's anything new since the last time we came through here. I don't know if these were here the last time. Do the little duck, some luster. This is a little Scotty ashtray and lighter. Sirocco wood, looks like. All right. Doesn't look like there's much new in here today. Let's check over in this booth. I do like this paperweight here. Juliet has been really into paperweights recently. If you haven't noticed. It's really a good thing she's not here. Otherwise it would be coming home with me. <laughs> This is pretty. I like that petal. Petal bowl. It's $18.50 on that. It is 20% off. I don't know the maker off the top of my head. I feel like if I knew the maker, I might be more willing to uh, to grab that. So over here is Paul's stuff. Let's take a peek. This is adorable. This little bisque baby is only seven dollars. Little bisque figurine and a petal. Looks like it's got oh January. There must have been a series, and this is January of the series. Looks Japanese, possibly with that little foil sticker. I still love this picture. Still love it. It's a little too high for me to buy and flip for a profit. Let's peek in here. This is cute. A <laughs> little outhouse. Oh, it slams shut. It's got little leather straps there. All right, well, the last time we were at this booth, we found a very amazing vase, and that vase did pretty darn well on eBay. So I've decided to uh, see what else we've got here. And um, I did pay up for it though. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at those cats. Oh my gosh, I love them. Pair of cat figurines. Holland. Oh my gosh, they're great. <laughs> well, they are $45. The last pair of cats we sold uh, did really well on eBay and these cats have the most amazing lips I've ever seen on cats ever um, let's not ignore this cat right here this is only nine dollars it is a cat pen wood oh it's a pen it is a cat pen a cat pen there you go very cool uh, back there we've got a Westmoreland little jar. 
What do we have up here? Oh, a little Natsuki. Nice little dragon Natsuki. Net, net, I'm pronouncing it wrong still. So you guys tell me how to pronounce things and I still pronounce them wrong. Netski. There. Netski. I think I said it right that time. I think there's a few things in here that I'm interested in, but let's check out what they have in their actual booths. Like these cats. Today must be the day of cats. Oh, this one still has... Oh, oh, gotta throw it over the shoulder. Don't want that bad luck. Um, <laughs> the pair of these are $6. And they appear to be in pretty good condition. They're Tilso Japan. I like those. Um, I also like that Koizane vase. I'm gonna try to hold the pepper shakers and the vase at the same time. Kind of a fish scale. It is $32, however, and I don't think that I can pay that and still expect to make a profit on that. So I am going to have to pass on that. It's not the end of the world. There should be other things in here that we could find. Like these awesome dogs. I think I actually might have one of those somewhere. $14 for the dogs, and he's really cute. He's pretty cute. A giant foo dog in here. Usually come through here, I can tell which items are new and which are old. That's why I like coming here because they have new items all the time. It never gets old. Pair of pottery candlesticks. These appear to have some age to them too. I like those. Hmm. So this set right here, this creamer and sugar set, is actually $15. Cream and sugar, Austria. Oh, okay, there is a chip on the inside of the creamer. I don't know how I missed, ah, there we go, okay. I was surprised that they had it priced so low. I mean, technically you cannot see it from the outside. A lot of people ask me, like, why do you buy things that are chipped? Um, I usually use a little discretion. And uh, in this case, you could still use that as a display piece. And if it has creamer in it, I don't know, I'm thinking that for $15, I like that. These little guys look like they're home co. Are they? Yes, they are. They're cute though. I don't think I've seen those ones before. What do we have here? These little salt cellars? Those are like fancy salt cellars. These ones a set of five matching salt dips, $12. I mean, unfortunately there is some damage in this this paper, so I don't knock them off. Unfortunately, there is shipping around the edges, but these have some age to them, and it's kind of expected with age on these pieces. I don't know why it is, but a lot of the times when I come across these old salt sellers, there's almost always shipping on them. I like it. I don't know why she's naked. I don't know what she's doing. And yes, there is some chipping on the edges. But for $12, I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> These little dogs look like they're up to no good. Let's see what else I can find here. To a little Scotty trinket box. Right, well, I think I'm going to take these up front and 
I'm going to get myself a little basket so I don't have to carry everything. I do like this vase. What is this? Siam Celadon Pottery Vase, I guess. Thailand? I think that's new. I don't remember that being here the last time. I just noticed this little trinket box in here has a moon face on it. And I know we love our moon faces. I think we might have to get a better look at that little trinket box. Well, I just happened to be walking by and I noticed this for sale tag on this beautiful quilt. I love the flowers. They kind of remind me of poppies. I haven't actually pulled it off, so I don't know if there's damage on it or discoloration. But I love those flowers. Only $25? What? Okay. Let's pull it. Also, let's not ignore this beautiful cat. I mean, it appears to be in pretty good condition. I'm not seeing any obvious stains. Of course, I didn't pull it all the way out, but... I'll take that for 25. All right, well, I'm gonna have about 10 minutes before I have to go grab the kids from school. So I figured we'd sneak upstairs. This toy castle is really neat. It looks like somebody made this. I really like that. Oh, it looks like it has a drawbridge. I actually had mechanics and stuff back there. Unfortunately, it's $39 and it looks like it'll be a little bit oversized to ship. Do you see him? <laughs> there we go. Hello, little guy. You are $5. And you are very cute. I love that glaze. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Frank Coma. What do we have here? Pagoda, hand painted. I do kind of like that. This is interesting. Look at that. It says Native American pine needle basket, $18. I think I've actually looked at that before. It must have just gotten shifted around because uh, I haven't seen it there before. I feel like I've looked at it before. Alrighty. Wow, look at that. Isn't that neat? Asian terrain. That's just beautiful. I love that for $95. That's a good price, too. Wow, will you look at that popsicle stick lamp? That is quite impressive. It looks like a lot of work went into that. <laughs> and I love this tray. $10 tray on stand. All right. That's got some three leaf clovers on it. Sorry if I seem like I'm in a hurry. Got my alarm set, and uh, only so much time before I gotta go get the kids. So I am in a little bit of a hurry. I don't want to miss anything. What is this? Twelve dollars vintage red purse. That is kind of neat and tooled. Does show somewhere though. It's got a receipt in there. What is it a receipt for? Inquiring minds want to know the gap. <laughs> this is a dish with cover. Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? Holland, oh no, it's a Holland mold. Um, it's, I think Dittmar Erbach makes one similar to this. It has a polar bear on it, and I have never found one out in the wild. I would love to, but I have never found one. 
out of the music box. to be in another language. Alright, well I wanted to check out this piece up here. I did notice that there is a boo-boo on it. Come here, you. Maybe. There we go. I love the shape of that, but you can see that there is a repair there, so that's unfortunate. Ah, it looks like there is a marking there. Not one that I recognize, so let's see if I can get this back on the shelf. There we go. These little guys are kind of cute though. A pair of $12 of Relief Pixies. Only I don't think I've ever looked in this case before, but I just noticed all these penguins in here. Little Koizuni penguins and that penguin trinket box is really cute. Never noticed the penguins before. Ooh. A little pill box is $18. That is the micro mosaic. Our last one sold pretty well. Of course, you know me, I'm gonna to be too lazy to go and get the key. <laughs> I also noticed this head vase in here is $35. She's missing one of her earrings, but my friend Mary, um, Mary Murano, Murano Mary, uh, specializes in head vases, and she's told me that the earrings are actually pretty easy to replace. She doesn't look like she has much other damage, so I think $35 is reasonable for that. And just like that, we are done. Um, there at the end, I did end up going to that case right by the checkout, and I did purchase the head vase for $35. Her earring that was missing was stuck inside of her head, so the earring was there. I'm not sure if it can reattach or how that works, but she did have her earring. There was some paint loss on it. I know a lot of head vase collectors are very particular, so it probably won't sell for as much as the really nice examples, but at $35, I think I'll be okay. Um, also, the little trinket box. I ended up grabbing the trinket box. Um, it was $45, and I was looking up comps on it, and it's worth about double that. So I did purchase that as well, and our total was $195. 93 right around there so i'm pretty pleased with everything that we got today i'm going to get out of here now i've got to go get the kids from school and they have basketball practice tonight so i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow so long bye